Hello, what is up guys and welcome to the last and final part of our business calculations practice test. If you've been watching along with me, I appreciate it and I hope that you're finding this helpful. And uh, I encourage that you watch this video and try this problem, problem 9, by yourself. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you've tried it. Now we're going to go on to solving it. Last week, cost of goods sold for Ellen's Bakery was $7,486. This week, cost of goods sold is $6,042. What is the percent change? Okay, so to find the percent change, what you'd first do is find the this the uh, the the uh, deviation in price in well the cost of goods. So 7,486 and 6,042. So you would do 7,486 minus 6,042 to find the difference. And that is, let me just whip out my calculator real quick. Um, just taking it out. So 7486, 7486, wow, type that all wrong. 7486 minus 6042. Uh, 748, okay, I'm sorry, I'm typing this very poorly. So 7486 minus 6042 is 1,400. 44. Now, 1,444 is what percent of 7,486? So we do this divided by 7,486. Um, so let's do this divided by 7,486. And this is equal to approximately 0 0.193. So this is 19.3%. And right now we're discussing it as a positive number. However, this would be negative um, because I just used deviation, but um, we're, we're going down. We're going from 7486 to 6042. So it's negative. And um, just to show you, you know, in this case, you would actually do 6042 minus 7486 and then um, get, then you get negative. 1,444 and then divide it and then you get the negative result. I just wanted to use um, the deviation instead of the difference. Uh, anyways, um, on to our last and final question. When an advertisement attracts customers to the store and the advertised special is gone, blank exists when customers are redirected to a product with a greater profit margin. Okay, so I want you guys to try and answer this yourself. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I know that this is called a bait and switch. But if you just look at the rest of these options, bait and switch also just makes the most sense because the advertised special is gone and now customers are being redirected to a new product with a greater um, profit margin. So this describes we are baiting, we are like leaving this product, bait, you know, bait means to um, just sort of leave something and then we're switching it. Now we're swapping it with a new product, right? Price fixing would be more like changing the price. Consumer fraud, well, that's when a customer is doing something, right? Loss leader pricing. Well, we now have a profit with a greater margin, so we're not making a loss, right? So bait and switch just makes the most sense as well. Um, anyways, yep, thank you. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, this, well, four-part series now. Um, thank you, and goodbye.